Hello, thank you for joining me. See, in this film I'd like to show you, this is going to be the first film in the series on how to create a legend. What we're going to be focusing on in this film is a door legend. And we're going to create two different uh, door legends in regard to our project here. And what I'm going to demonstrate now is uh, just one of those. So there's two different legends we're going to create. I believe uh, we're going to do door and window legends. And, um, and then we're also going to do those legends both on an elevation view and a, uh, and a plan view. So a plan view is more like symbols. Uh, there are symbols for doors and windows that may not be apparent to somebody looking at a project. You want to know what those things are. And more specifically, the legends can not only tell you what they are, but they could also tell you what the size of those elements might be. And it's a little bit more descriptive when you're looking at those, those things in an elevation. It actually looks like the door itself or a window. It's a lot more descriptive that way, but we're going to put both of these in our projects. And for this film, we're going to, in this uh, number one film, this first film, we're going to go ahead and put a floor plan door legend together. Okay. Let's do this. The way you want to do this, you want to go to the View tab initially. Go to Legends. You want to create a legend first. And you want to call that legend. We're going to call that Door. Capitals, please. And you, you, you'll want to remember what your scale was. I believe my floor plan schedule, or uh, my floor plan, pardon me, just a floor plan, that was going to be one quarter of an inch is equal to a foot, a quarter inch scale. So you want to keep that in mind. You want to make sure your legend's about the, is the same scale. That way, the, the the doors that appear in the legend look the same size as the doors that appear in your plan. And then go to OK. There you have it. You have nothing in here. So we need to add some annotation components. So let's do this. Let's go to the annotate tab and go over here to component. These are uh, you know detail components. And you have three to choose from. We've done the detail component, and we've also done a repeating detail component. And the last detail component is a legend component. And what it does is it uh, yeah, automatically puts a sink in there for you because that sink is all the way up at the very top. Go to the options bar. Take a look at this up here. There's a couple uh, different options up here to think about and talk about. So these are our families. If we pull that down, these are all the families that are loaded into the, into the project right now. Some of these are used and some of these aren't used. But these are all of our doors. And this looks like a formidable task to put in these 20, 25 doors or so. We're not using all these doors. I think we only have four doors to really choose from. So we're going to try to limit that. But just for demonstration, let's go ahead and uh, do the double acting, or the double flush double acting door, the one that goes between our uh, kitchen and our, our production area, I believe, or our customer area. And you have a choice up here also. You can do a floor plan, elevation front, or elevation back. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to stick with the default to floor plan. And our host length, if you want to change the size of the door, you can do that by changing this here. And we will be doing that to our curtain wall door. Before we get started in this, let's just limit our selection to the doors we actually have installed on our project. So I'm going to go ahead and do Escape. It's not going to let me do that, but if I just go over here to the X, the legend is still there. It's still in our project browser. If you go down to Legends, you'll see it's down here. Uh, but we're going to get out of that for now. And we're going to go to another uh, function in here, and that's called the purge function. It's very similar to the purge function you find in AutoCAD. And it gives us the ability to take uh, some elements that we haven't used, or are not using, and get them out of our project. Not only does it make our project a little bit smaller by getting those components unloaded, but it uh, makes our selection here in regard to legends a little bit easier to do. So go to the Modify tab. Oh, I'm sorry, go to the Manage tab. Pardon me. Manage tab. Go to Purge Unused. Click on that guy. It's taking a while. And everything that's in our project that we've loaded into our project but haven't used yet or may not ever use is uh, in here. So if you go to Lighting Fixtures, Trophor Lights, we have a couple different Trophor Lights that we loaded but we're not using. It's in here. Parking components and whatnot. If you just go down to the, you know, the hierarchy of the folders that's here, you can see those things. What we're really interested in right now are doors. Click open the doors. There's three different uh, door families that we've loaded that we're not using. And let's do this. This is important right now. Let's go to check none. That's going to check nothing that's in this list here. Right now, by default, they're all clicked. And if we uh, are checked, if we uh, go to the OK button, it'll purge all of them. We may not necessarily want to do that. We want to make sure all we want to do is purge the doors, at least for now. So check none. And let's go back and check our doors. Now, I know Mr. Reader in class is having difficulty with this, and this is a solution for you, David. Okay. Now that you've done that, go to OK. Let's go back to Annotate and see what that looks like. 
we have to choose our legend first. So go to the legend uh, portion in, uh, in our legend section in our project browser. Nothing's in here right now. But uh, if we go down to legend component again, here's our sync. But let's scroll down and look at some of our doors that we have. And there we have it. We have the four doors we put in here. The curtain wall door, the double flush, double acting door between uh, the kitchen and um, you know the customer service area. The single flush doors in the bathrooms and other uh, doors are there. And then our single flush vision door, which goes to the outside of the building from the kitchen. So I think that's enough for this video. Let's go ahead and close this out, and we'll pick this up in the next one.